Pigs require around 15 minerals in their meal, and macrominerals are the minerals that pigs require in greater quantities, generally stated as a percentage of the diet. Minerals make up around 5% of a pig's entire body weight. Minerals are required for the majority of fundamental metabolic activities in the body and play a key role in development, reproduction, and disease resistance. They are fundamental for the digestion of protein, fat, and also carbohydrate metabolism, and they are key in the formation of chromosomes, enzymes, neurons, blood, skeleton, hair, and milk. These minerals are divided into two, macro and micro minerals. Micro minerals are also called trace minerals. Let us go through the macro minerals. Macro minerals, or significant minerals, must be provided in greater quantities in swine diets. Macro mineral needs and dietary concentrations are often represented as a percentage, percent of the diet. The most common macro minerals added to pig diets are calcium, phosphorus, sodium, and chloride. Phosphorus and calcium. Calcium and phosphorus are required for the formation and maintenance of skeletal structures, lean tissue deposition, muscular contraction, and a variety of other physiological processes. Calcium and phosphorus are the most plentiful minerals in the pig, and the skeleton contains approximately 99% calcium and 80% phosphorus in a pig's body. Chloride and Sodium Sodium and chloride play important roles in nutrient absorption, electrolyte balance, and pH regulation. The most frequent source of sodium and chloride is salt, which is made of around 40% sodium and 60% chloride. The needs for salt and chloride are higher in nursery pigs and sharply lower in grow-finished pigs and sows. Diets low in salt result in lower growth performance due to reduced feed intake and poor feed efficiency. High salt diets are often readily tolerated if drinking water is available. Toxicity, on the other hand, develops rapidly if drinking water is not accessible. Magnesium Magnesium is an essential part of bone elements and an enzyme cofactor. Magnesium is necessary for a number of important enzymes that are involved in protein synthesis, energy metabolism, and glucose metabolism. Pigs need magnesium in their diet in parts per million concentrations, and a typical diet of maize and soybean meal will supply it at 30 times the needed level. Due to these high concentrations in the common protein sources of grains and oil seeds used in swine diets, magnesium deficiency has rarely been observed. Sulfur The pig's sulfur requirements are closely related to its protein requirements, which include the crucial sulfur-containing amino acids methionine and cysteine. There is little use in giving supplemented forms of sulfur, such as sulfur flowers and gypsum because the animals will not use them. Most mixed meals include acceptable quantities of sulfur, while methionine and cysteine levels may be below the norm in some cases. A combination of protein sources, on the other hand, generally ensures an appropriate amount of these sulfur-loaded amino acids. For the mineral elements needed in your farm mixed pig feed ration, you have two choices. Either you mix in each of the minerals you think are required, or you can purchase any one of a number of proprietary mineral premixes which, incidentally, may also contain various other feed additives, some of which might be useful. In either case, you must have some knowledge of your pig's requirements, especially as many of these premixes may be quite unsuitable. If any doubt exists, competent advice should be sought.